It's the Phoenix, Arizona weather discussion. This is for Friday, September the 28th. I'm Michael Groff. Dry weather and above average temperatures will be the rule in the valley today and tomorrow, but then our attention turns toward the tropics and Hurricane Rosa as it makes its way toward the desert southwest by the end of the weekend and the first half of next week, bringing with it an increasing risk of widespread, maybe heavy rain, and the possibility of flash flooding around here as well. Also good news, though, is that we'll finally see a relief, a break from our summer heat. Let's get out there and talk about it. Yesterday in the valley, 104 degrees for the high, 78 for the morning low. And outside right now, here at 535 a.m., clear skies in the valley. We begin this day at 79 degrees at Sky Harbor. Dew points at 50, humidity 39%. The winds are light and the barometer is steady. Temperatures across the valley this morning, the cool spots, 70 in South Chandler, 71 Buckeyes, 72 at South Mountain. Here in Arcadia, where I'm at, it's 73, but near 80 degrees in the urban core the water vapor satellite view of 588 ridge here across the southwest and that's going to keep us hot and dry today and tomorrow but there is a cutoff low just to the west a big rex block pattern out over the pacific and that's going to help to draw rosa on toward the north On the watch, warning map still, fire danger continues to be the big risk out here in the west with numerous red flag warnings. We have frost and freeze advisories, a sign that fall is in the air across the Dakotas, Minnesota, and Wisconsin. Dense fog advisories for parts of Arkansas extending eastward toward the Ohio Valley. Convective outlook for today, no organized areas of severe weather expected anywhere across the contiguous United States. And we'll get you the update on Rosa, a major hurricane now down there well to the southwest of the tip of Baja. Category 4 storm, maximum sustained winds 145 miles per hour. It is slowing down its forward progress to the west, and it is expected to make that turn toward the north later today, maintaining its major hurricane status through at least tomorrow before it begins to weaken and accelerate onto the north and northeast. You see, the official track from the Hurricane Center brings it right across central Arizona during the day Tuesday and really picking up some speed. Taking a look at some of the modeling on this, this is the European Ensemble. There's 51 members here and the Ensemble mean is the black line which takes the track a little bit further to the west, more up the Colorado River Valley. If that verified, the heavier rain would be out toward Yuma, Quartzsite, Parker, up toward Kingman, maybe Las Vegas, and certainly some areas in southeast California. But the GFS Ensemble, there's 21 members here. This track continues to be further to the east. Either way, ample amounts of moisture will be coming in here, producing heavy rain. The latest totals coming from the WPC, this is valid through next Friday morning. They've got amounts between two and three inches in a broad swath across central Arizona, including the Phoenix area. And so the message I would take away from this right now is that the potential of flash flooding is certainly increasing around here for the first half of next week, especially if these numbers pan out. And I wouldn't be surprised to see a few locations get even more than what's depicted here. So you got to keep updated. All right, let's walk through some of the deterministic model output now. To do that, we'll take a look at the GFS. This is the 06Z run, valid at 5 o'clock this afternoon. The upper look at about 18,000 feet in the atmosphere. Rex block pattern over the eastern Pacific. High pressure in control here over the greater southwest. And what that means down at the surface is another day of mostly sunny and hot conditions here in the valley. Highs 102 to 105. Tonight, clear skies, lows in the upper 60s in the cool spots, upper 70s in the urban core. And then tomorrow, sunny again, highs 100 to 103, but our pattern begins to break down. That cutoff low begins to open up and move off to the east. And with it, we'll start to see Rosa really pulled further toward the north, toward the Baja coast. On Sunday, partly sunny in the morning, turning cloudy by the afternoon. A slight chance of showers and storms coming in here as early as Sunday afternoon, but a better chance by Sunday night. Highs on Sunday, mid and upper 90s. And that might mean that we have seen our last 100 degree day of 2018 as of Saturday. Wouldn't that be nice? All right, as we get to Monday, showers and thunderstorms increasing as Rosa gets closer. Now, just off the Baja Spur by Monday afternoon, showers will turn to periods of rain, heavy at times, and we'll see some isolated thunderstorms in here perhaps uh, during the day on Monday and by Monday afternoon. Keep in mind that the moisture from Rosa will also be encountering some upper dynamics from an approaching trough, so the potential of thunderstorms is there. I don't think the severe weather risk is overly high. It's not zero, but I don't think we're going to have to worry about that. Maybe a few storms do produce some strong gusty winds. We'll just have to see how intact the center of Rosa is as it crosses Arizona. 
And of course, the other thing that you're going to notice on Monday is that it's going to be much cooler. Highs, mid 80s at best could be much cooler than that, depending upon how much rain we see out of this. All right, Monday night and Tuesday, the official track from the Hurricane Center brings uh, Rosa right across central Arizona. If that happens to be the case, we could see a couple of strong storms and certainly some gusty winds between 30 and 40 miles per hour. And with any landfalling tropical system, you always have to be conscious of the small possibility of maybe an isolated tornado someplace. That's not something we're going to worry about right now, but just something that is on the table. And we'll get you a better assessment of that threat as we get closer to the event. Otherwise, the GFS, this run, tracks the system a little bit further to the west and does not hold the center of circulation together very well. So the risk for stronger winds would be minimal if this verifies. Let me show you the European, though. Uh, same time, this is Sunday afternoon at 5 o'clock. It's got the center of Rosa still well off the Baja coast. By Monday, it's got it centered south of San Diego, nearing the Baja coast. And then by Tuesday... This is Tuesday morning. It's got the center of Rosa over western Arizona, and it's also fizzling it out, of course, and doesn't even really show much of a well-defined surface low there. And the heavier rain would be west of the valley, but we'd still get a decent soaking if the European is correct. The GFS certainly gives us a lot more rain. The official WPC forecast I showed you has between two and three inches here over Arizona, and that's the right call for now. But the exact track and timing, that's going to make all the difference in how much rain we get here. All right, let's go back to Wednesday off the GFS. And scattered showers and thunderstorms would still be around as the trough moves a little bit slower through here. Highs on Wednesday still low to mid 80s. Here's Thursday. We start to dry out finally, at least if the GFS is correct. High temperatures mid to upper 80s. The European still keeps us on the wet side through the remainder of next week. Well, let's take you out to a week from today. This is Friday, the 5th of October. Still lingering trough energy across the southwest. High temperatures stay below average between 86 and 90, although conditions would remain fairly dry. Here's Saturday, the 6th. The GFS wants to develop a cutoff low here across the southwest. And then look out. Here we go to the end of the forecast period. Sunday, the 7th, we've got a trough over the Pacific Northwest headed for the Great Basin. And yes, that's another tropical system down there off the Baja coast. And if this happened to be correct, and there's a very low likelihood that it is, but if it were right, we'd have more moisture being drawn northward and unsettled conditions potentially returning to the greater southwest. All right, let's take a look at the numbers through the period coming off of the GFS Ensemble. Yes, way above average today and tomorrow, but then look at those numbers down in the 80s. Low 80s, in fact, some of those days. And lows getting down in the 60s. Oh, that sounds fantastic. Fall may finally be arriving, and that's going to do it for the Phoenix, Arizona weather discussion for today. Of course, with the risk of inclement weather coming our way, we'll have another video back for you here tomorrow morning. If you like our videos, be sure to subscribe so that whenever we post a brand new one, you'll get the notifications. Your comments, questions, suggestions, always encouraged as well. Be safe out there, stay cool, and have yourselves a great Friday, everybody.